Hi guys, let's see how we do a proper image validation when uploading an image file to the server. I cannot stress enough how important it is to validate an uploaded file or how much trouble we are going to get if we don't. I'm going to explain every validation step that we will make so you can not only understand the how but also the why. So let's quickly create a file upload form to test the PHP code we are about to write. Ok, let's create a form element. I will leave the action attribute empty. This means that the form will submit to the same page. I will set the HTTP request method to post and the eng type attribute to multipart slash form data. This is important if we want our file upload to work. Next I will set a form title. An info text with the allowed image types. Again an info text with the allowed max file size. A label. I'll choose file button with its name attribute set to image, the submit button with its name attribute set to image upload. We will check the submit button's name attribute in the PHP code to see if the form has been submitted. Next we are showing the user a success message if everything worked fine and an error message if something went wrong. We will determine when to display each message based on the validation code. And we are done with the form element. Let's see it in the browser. Nice. Here's our form with the applied CSS styles. It's nothing fancy, but it will do the job. Ok, now that we have set up our file upload form, I will scroll to the top of the file and I will open PHP tags to write PHP code. First I will check if the form is submitted by checking the submit button's name attribute. If the form is submitted, I will create a variable named response and set it equal to a function called image validation. The image validation function doesn't exist yet. We are going to define the function later in the functions.php file. Now the image validation function takes four arguments. The first argument is the image name. Let me quickly explain that the file's super global variable is a multidimensional array that holds all the information of the uploaded image file. To access the values, in this case the name, we need to target the image array. We know this because we have set the choose file buttons name attribute to image. Ok, now the second argument is the size of the file. The third argument is the temporary location where PHP stores the file. And the fourth and last argument is the image type. Now in order to execute the image validation function, we have to require the functions.php file. Ok, now let's go to the functions.php file to write the image validation function. I will type the function keyword and the name of the function which is image validation. Now I have to pass in the arguments. The order of the arguments matters. So the first argument is the image name, the second argument is the image size, the third argument is the temporary location and the fourth argument is the image's type. Now the first thing that I will do inside the function is to check if a file is selected. I will check the image's name and if it is empty I will return a message that says please select a file and the function will stop here. Next and this is really important we need to verify if the uploaded file is indeed an image and not something else like a PDF, text file or a malicious script file with a changed file extension to appear like an image. To avoid this we are going to use the file info object. I will create a variable named file info and I will set it equal to a new file info object. As an argument I will pass the file info mime type constant. This will give me the uploaded files mime type. But to get the mime type I have to use the file info objects file method which takes as an argument the uploaded file which is stored in the server's temporary location. And I will store the returned mime type in a variable named mime type. Next, I will define an array of allowed mime types. We only permit PNG, JPEG, and GIF files for upload. Now that we have the uploaded files mime type and an array of allowed mime types, I can use the inArray function to check if the uploaded mime type exists in the allowed image types array. If the function returns false, we return a message that says only JPEG, PNG or GIF images files allowed. 
Next, we are going to validate the uploaded file size. I'm going to define the upload max size to 2 MB. If the image size is greater than the upload max size, we will return a message that says image must not be larger than 2 MB. Our next step is to validate the image name. Now, to be absolutely sure that the image name doesn't contain any malicious characters, we are going to rename it. But we will do this inside another function. I will create a function named rename_image, and as an argument I will pass in the uploaded image's name. Inside the function, I will create a string that contains the digits 1 to 9 and all lowercase and uppercase letters. Next, I will set the new name's length to 10 characters. This means that we are going to take 10 random characters from the string above. Next, I will randomize the string using the string shuffle function. In the next step, I'm going to take the first 10 characters from the randomized string using the substring function. Our next step is to get the uploaded files extension. And our final step is to combine the 10 character long random string with the files extension. Now the new name variable is holding the image files new random name. Now, as rare as it is for the new random name to exist in the uploads folder, I will feel more secure if I perform a check. So I will use the file exist function and if in a rare case the renamed file exists in the uploads folder, I will call the rename image function again so it will create a new one. Else the function will return the new name. Okay, now we will return to our main function and rename the image. I will create a variable named new name and set it equal to the rename image function passing in the uploaded image name as an argument. Next, I will move the image file from its temporary location to the uploads folder. Next, I will check if the file has been successfully moved. If not, I will return a message that says, file not saved, please try again. If the uploaded file has passed every validation step, the function will return the string success. That's it. This is all the code we need in our functions.php file. Now we will return to the index file and write the code to display the messages that the function returns. Every message that the function returns will be stored in the response variable. So let's scroll under the submit button and open PHP tags. I'm going to write an if statement and check if the response variable is equal to the string success. If so, I'm going to escape PHP and display the success message. Else, I will display whatever the response variable holds. Now there is a small issue here. If we load the index file in the browser, the server will throw a warning because the response variable is not declared in the global scope. Let's fix this by declaring the variable at the top of the page and outside the if statement. Now before we test our code in the browser, I went through the code and spotted an error in the rename image function. In line 37, where we create the new name in the first var variable, after the equal sign, I misspelled the random string variable. Let's fix this. Those two variables have to match. Now we can test the code in the browser. I will open the browser on the screen and reload the page so that the changes we made in the index file will take effect. I will also arrange the code next to the browser so that we can see and test the validation steps that we are going to take. Let's first click on the submit button without selecting a file. Nice, we see that our code returned the message please select a file. Next, let's check the image's file type. I will choose a text file and see what happens. I will press the upload button and we see the message that says only JPEG, PNG and GIF images are allowed. Nice, so far so good. Now we are going to try to upload a text file disguised as an image file. I'm going to change the text files extension to PNG. Let's upload the file and see what happens. I will double click on the file and click on the upload button. And we see again the same message. The file info object has detected that this file was not an image. Nice. 
Now let's validate the size of the image. I will choose an image file larger than 2 megabytes. Hit again the upload button and as expected we see the message that the selected file is larger than 2 megabytes. Ok, and now in our last test let's upload a valid image file. Hit again the upload button and we see the success message. Nice. Let's also check the uploads folder. And here is the renamed image file stored on the server. Our small application is working fine. And that's it for today guys. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you like. See you in the next one.